Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and a young lady sent me this file and needed help with the nodes, and it's really not that bad. She traced it pretty good. It does have some hiccups, and a lot of times it's almost easier than trying to fix that. It's just kind of play around and redo it. Now, she's got a black background. We don't need that. Let's make a yellow background. Turn it to yellow and hit back of page. Now, this should be all grouped together, but it's, it's really not. So let's, let's do this. This is kind of a fun project in a way. Our logo is 2.71 inches. So let's change our nudge factor to 3.5. Let's get a little bit further out. Let's take this and move it out of the way. Now, let's left-click, right-click on red. Now I'm going to show you something right here. This looks really jagged and this might be what she's talking about. But whenever you see something like that with a hairline, go up to edit or go to view, sorry, and she's looking at it in normal mode. I don't know why anybody would. You need to look at it enhanced. Look how much better it looks already. Now, it could be cleaned up a little bit, but we're not worried about that. So, let's do a couple other things. Let's take our black outline and move it over. And let's look at this thing. And let's move it over. Let's break that apart. And let's see if we can't remove the white. Wow. Let's take this. See, there's something, there's something in here. So, we don't ever want to move anything by hand. So, let's double nudge it. Get it out of the way. Now, let's move our D over. Our F over. They look pretty good. The cypress looks good. The date looks good. There's no white background. And let's zoom in here a little bit more. And let's grab. Let's grab the white and just delete everything. We don't care if it's, you know, if it engraves or not, but if it just happened, some of those whites were CMYK, they could on some lasers engrave. I know mine does, so I don't take any chances. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my yellow box, I'm going to go up to range, and I'm going to lock it, because I don't want to grab it. Now, you need to get off your page and select that logo and move it over. You know, I'm serious. Half your work's already done. Now, I don't like this circle. And there's a couple of, you know, there was this bluish background, bluish gray background. So, and I'm not going to do this entire logo for her because I think it's better just to get a few tips and learn. But it would take you a little while to clean that logo up on that rescue. Well, it's pretty sure it's Arial. So we're going to capitalize R-E-S-C-U-E. And I know you're going to say that doesn't look right, but when you make it bold and you make it about the right size, and what I would do is put it over here and size it over here. And kind of just stretch it out a little bit. I mean, I think that's aerial bold. Now, let's break this apart. Break curve apart. Because we have the yellow lock, we, we don't, yeah, we do need that line. Let's back up here. So go off your page and grab the rescue and hit delete. Now grab your new rescue and move it over. Now, left click, right click, and I am going to try to make my videos a little shorter. I will maybe finish this, but I'm going to show you, and then you just smart fill this part. And look how good the rescue looks 
and then smart fill the center of the R. And if you do not watch the second video, you definitely need to go in there and take away the outline, the red hairline, because you don't want to cut it out. It won't matter if you're not going to, if you're just going to engrave this. But look how much better the rescue looks. Everything looks good. This is a problem, and we'll fix that in the next video. But anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.